Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Hoyoki Power Hub XL. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video when they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So this is a circular power strip. It has 12 AC outlets and six USB ports. So here's the user manual. This has a power button on the top, USB ports on the front, AC outlets, and here are the specs. So the input is 100 to 240 volts, 15 amps, 50 or 60 hertz. USB output is five volts at 2.6 amps, six amps max. The AC output is 100 to 240 volts, 15 amps, 1875 watts. The dimensions are 117 by 117 by 172 millimeters, and the weight is 885 grams. Let's pull this out. Here it is, let me get the cord unwrapped. So this has a five foot power cord on it. You can see it's a very thick cable. This has 12 outlets arranged on four different sides. And then it has the USB ports on the front here. Then on the bottom, we have this pad. I'll pull this plastic off here. And we have this non-slip rubber. Looks like there's also some key slots here. So you could mount this to a wall or a board or a desk. So I'll set this on the desk and that rubber does restrict it from sliding. So I'll plug this in. I'll press this button on top to turn it on. So you can see there's a green light to tell you Let's turn on or off. And you can hear a relay in there. So this has six ports and it has a max of six amps. So that would be one amp per port. Although individual ports can go up to 2.4 amps. So if you're not using all the ports, you can have faster charging on your devices. So let me plug some things into this. Here I have a lightning cable. And I'll plug in an iPhone, let that boot up. Here I have an Android tablet. Plug that in. Here's a wireless mouse. So this is charging now. Let's get everything in frame there. Okay, so I have a couple of other devices here. This is a computer monitor, so I'll plug that in. Then I have a couple of power bricks that are different orientations. So that'll plug in like that. And this one doesn't quite have enough room, and that's not uncommon with any power strip. So I'll plug that in on the other side, like so. So this one fits in pretty good here. This one isn't quite flush. This would fit in down here better, like so. So I just want to give some different examples of some things you can plug in here. So every power strip you have can have different limitations. Like you wouldn't be able to plug two power bricks like this next to each other on many power strips, including this one. You can plug regular cords like this right next to each other. There's plenty of room. And this one, as you can see here, it worked in the first one. And this is low current. So if it's not plugged in all the way, it would probably work fine. But it fit best at the bottom here. So you have to look at the things you're going to plug in to see if this is going to work well for you or if it's not an ideal solution. So this power strip could be thrown behind a desk and you could plug all your things into it but this one based on its looks and its functionality would work well on a desktop so there are certain things i plug in behind my desk say like a computer monitor my computer and i just leave those plugged in all the time but there are other things that i plug in and out on a regular basis so it's nice to have a power strip on top of your desk so this one has the usb charging port so you can charge your devices using that but then if i want to charge a device like say my nintendo ds i can just plug the power brick in here charge it up and when i'm done i can unplug it and go on my way i don't have to go under my desk to plug that in so i think this would work very well on say like a corporate conference room table. If you have a grommet in the middle of the table to get power, you could put this in the middle of the table and people could plug their laptops and things into this. I think this would work well in a shop or a craft area. You could have this sitting on top of your workbench. If you want to plug in a hot glue gun or something, you can plug it in the side here. You could plug a light in one of the other ones or other craft tools or other just tools in general. Now, when you're dealing with say power tools, you'd need to be careful you're not overrunning the amperage rating of this. So you could probably plug a drill in here. You wouldn't want to plug in multiple tools. That would probably be too much for this or any power strip. So this is currently on. We can see this is charging here. So I'll press this button and that turned the charging off. And it also killed power to these plugs. So if you want to save electricity when you're done working, you can hit that. It'll cut power to everything. I think that's a nice feature. As I was talking about using this on the desk and you could put this behind the desk, if you put this on top of your desk, you can use this as your primary power strip and you could plug things like your computer and your monitor in the back side. They go off to the back and then you have the front slots open to plug in your other things that you may plug and unplug throughout the day. So I think that's a nice feature of this. You can use these on the front of your desk. These can go to the things you permanently plugged in. So that's the Hoyoki PowerHub XL 12 port power strip with USB charging. If you're looking a way to add a lot of ports to the top of your desk without taking up as much room as a regular power strip, I think this is a great option. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.